All right, so there's a bunch of news on Global Dokkan regarding part two of the thank you celebration. We have the Link Skill Orb release campaign, and you know, I'm sure you can see from the title, God Goku is going to be available with red coins on the part two thank you banner. So let's honestly just go ahead, take a look into it, cover exactly what is coming here. Um, we'll just scroll through it again. You can see right here. Overflowing Gratitude Dokkan Festival will be on and we can very clearly see from the image of the teaser for the banner Dokkan Festival God Goku and then 23rd World Tournament Goku is going to be both available on this Dokkan Festival Overflowing Gratitude banner. <clears throat> if we take a look here there is the normal Dokkan Festival banner and then the festival ticket summon that will both be available later tonight in about six hours from the time this video should go up. Um, God Goku will be available with red coins, which again makes a lot of sense. Dokkan Festival God Goku has yet to return on the global version of the game. He returned on the Androids banner on the JP version of the game back in about what 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 exactly was that? Uh that was actually in October last month. So finally God Goku will return. He will be available with red coins. Makes a lot of sense because if he didn't return now then it probably would be until like January or March until he comes back, which is almost a full year from his release uh, on both versions. So it just doesn't make a lot of sense for him not to be here. Um, makes a lot of sense for me. 23rd World Tournament Goku, also very, very good. Um, I'm not sure, global players may not be aware, but uh, this character that came out on JP, if you are interested in summoning for this character, they're actually really good with the World Tournament Goku because this character's revive skill Fall under 70% HP, any one of the rotation dies, and they revive. After this character revives, they get the guaranteed dodge. But then there's such an easy revive skill get off that 23rd World Tournament Goku gets so, so much better too. So he's actually also a really good choice for red coins. But um, keep in mind, there's also going to be the Dokkan Festival ticket summon available, which will have purchasable packs based on what I'm seeing. So that is, that's fine, right? You know, that's, oh, that's okay, right? Um, but yeah, very, very nice that again, God Goku is finally here. Let me know if you guys are going to get God Goku with your red coins. I think he is definitely worth red coins. He's a very, very, very good, um, like at least like a, I would say a bare minimum of top 20 unit in the game. Same with 23rd World Tournament Goku. Both are absolutely incredible. Um, we have the Dragonstone sales, which only lasts until the third. Uh, it seems to be actually pretty decent sales. So again, if you're a purchasable player or I guess whatever, however you want to say it, uh, you can get these dragon stones and that'll, I guess, help you out for heroes or something like that. Let's see. So we do know the uh, new stage of extreme super battle road will be live tonight. I believe this is the special pose category stage, which again, special pose isn't really going to be that difficult uh, to go ahead and get done. I mean, I guess it'll be harder than a lot of the different stages. I wonder, is there a way you could bring up like special pose? I'm not even sure how I could bring up the special pose category. Probably by EGL Jacko is what I'm thinking. Um, where is this guy? Yeah, EGO Jacko, he's a special post character. I mean, this shouldn't be too bad. Gamma 2 is here. You have a Gamma 1 is also on special pose, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so basically just the Gammas rocking in here. You could even run a full Guinea Force team. That works just as fine as well. This one's not really too bad. The special pose is extreme super proud of. But again, we have the 46th World Tournament. Oh, also coming to the global version of the game. I did cover these characters earlier in the data download breakdown, uh, but these characters do release again tomorrow. Five different characters. Um, the world tournament starts tomorrow, so you guys are going to have so much fun until Heroes actually comes out basically like two days after the world tournament ends. Um, this guy, eh, mediocre, nothing really special. This unit could be solid. The Twix Super Saiyan Vegeta, he has the guard ability. Uh, if guaranteed for the first turn high chance after that in the first slot it's like kind of he he could be good though because he has the 60 uh the that th bad the 30 percent defense raise for six turns right he could be solid this beers actually could be pretty solid as well he has again another guard character full exploding rage category has to be there but on that team he could actually i think be pretty helpful um i like this beers quite a bit this goku he's solid too he can get up to 60% dodge chance if there's a space traveling warriors category ally in the turn. 
decent stats, right? I got nothing really too special in any of these characters, but I think they can get the job done as filler options on a lot of the teams. I thought it was overall a pretty nice easy A batch, except for this guy. Kind of sucks. Medium chance to guard is bad. Like, I don't know, just, it's just straight up bad, right? I mean, you're not really going to get use out of a 30% chance to guard, honestly. I, I know, sure, he's free to play, but, uh, you know, I, I, I feel like things could be a lot better for him, that's for sure. So, um, beyond that, there is the World Tournament Pack, blah, blah, blah. That seems to be pretty much it. Obviously, part one is still here. And at this point, um, besides part two of the thank you celebration, we are basically waiting for heroes, right? So again, in terms of content, you'll be able to get about 50-ish stones from Extreme Story Battle on the World Tournament. But again, this is like the Safilla week until heroes drops. I bet heroes next year will have like next uh, week. I mean, probably new red zone stages, maybe new infinite Dragon Ball history. We'll get like a Extreme Z area, a bunch of different things, free to play units, and obviously the like 10 to 15 hero units plus easy a's right um gonna be really really good time next week really busy week as well <laughs> for me specifically but um that is that for the ex again thank you celebration but we do still have some things to talk about here um uh, there's missions 26 stones actually in total that's not bad at all okay and then the login bonus you can get up to 30 stones which is cool okay now the link skill orb campaign is actually out on the global version as well uh, the new item link skill orbits can link level any link skill is here. The following items can be attained upon a first login from today. Uh, you get 20 large link skill orbs, 30 medium link skill orbs, and then 100 small link skill orbs. Large link skill orbs. If you're free to play, save those. They're very rare. They are literally impossible for you to get. Uh, as of this moment, there has been no other avenue for free to play players to get large link skill orbs outside of this login bonus and i'll explain why in a bit but um you want to make sure these link skill orbs the large ones are safe for characters that get a huge boost on link level 10. in my opinion the best characters to use them for are big bad bosses characters you know there's the arguments for like other links like let's say saiyan lineage that get a boost on link level 10 specifically but you need uh three in total to get from link eight to nine to ten uh so it's two links right two nine and two ten specifically if you're just getting from nine to ten it's only two so you could theoretically save these just for link level big bad bosses nine to ten and then you'll be able to get ten big bad boss characters in link level 10 with that method so you want to keep that in mind the medium and the small are pretty fairly easy to come by uh the small aren't really like that big of a deal i think it's really the medium and the largest now how you get more link skill orbs uh there's two methods starting from the 19th a limited attempts event where you can get link skill orbs will be available it could be attempted once every seven days and we'll just talk about it right here this is the master it special technique of hope uh you're able to get some missions you can get a total of what nine extra purple and then 60 extra blues which is fine this event is weekly it's like the Wii's event it only drops purple and blue though uh, there's no chance to drop any um, gold link level skill orbs, the large ones, which I, I personally find very odd and bizarre. I, I, like, I, I don't see the point in doing that, but that's what's going to happen, which is, I think, unfortunate. Uh, hopefully this gets updated in the future. And it's nice that Global is getting this like only a month after GP, but... This needs to be updated really, really badly. I I think that this, this event's already like, like, uh, are, maybe we'll see for larger celebrations, they'll be like in celebration missions, they've been giving us medium and small skill orbs. Let's say New Year's comes out, same time celebration. Maybe Link Skill Orb Large will be in some missions or some login bonus or something like that. And we'll be able to get more of those. And they're, you know, they seem very open to giving a lot of these skill orbs recently so we'll see um but the second way is to get the twice per month uh link skill or pack so it comes with dragon stones the pack in total will give you 10 dragon stones i believe you'll get 40 of the uh medium and then 20 of the large so in total if you buy both packs you get 20 dragon stones 
uh, I believe it's 80 medium orbs and then 40 large orbs. So in total, you could, if you're using the skill orbs and, you know, using them on both levels, you could get basically, how many characters is that? That's about 12 characters, 12 to 13 characters you could use and you can just get them to like full link level like 10 from link, starting from level 8 which is really good. Um, or I guess it's not characters but those links specifically. You can get different links to that max amount. So if again if you're using like big bad bosses characters specifically right. Um, which is pretty good. I think uh, that that's pretty good. That's about two characters that you can get to max link levels essentially by buying the monthly packs. Uh, they're not really expensive at all. I think, you know, compared to other Dokkan packs, it actually has really good value. Not that I'm going to recommend you or say you should spend money on these packs. You should spend money in the game because I think that's a dangerous thing to fall down into. But if you are a person who does spend money on the game, I think this is one of the best packs available. You could potentially even argue the best pack available because you're getting something guaranteed with these link skill orbs. You're guaranteed link leveling your characters. That is something that happens. It's not RNG. You get these link skill orbs, you apply them to the character and they link level up just like the keys. I think these are pretty good packs if you are interested in making purchases in the game. Um, so that's that. So that's how you get the Link Skill Herbs and that's how the Link Skill Herb release campaign is. Again, hopefully in the future this is updated. I'm just not really a fan of it right now, but that is pretty much it for the Overflowing campaign. Again, I know the big thing, God Goku is returning and that's what people are looking at. People are like, mm, God Goku, finally, you're back. I need you, God Goku. So that is really cool. Thumbs up, Dokkan, for actually like, taking the time to return this last year was like some random yellow coin banner so i think it makes sense that this is just a dokkan festival and we knew something was coming out because the sales uh ended for super saiyan 4 goku and now these ones are starting tonight so thanks for watching y'all and that's it for me i'll catch you in the next video peace out